Hello, ladies and gents. Today we're going to discuss the new Ghost album, Impera. Now, this is a Swedish heavy metal slash hard rock act that is that happens to be satanic, and that's why we love them. But <laughs> it's going to piss off the Karens. But many people do not like this album. But I think it's definitely it definitely grew on me. It, it takes a while to grow on you, but when it grows, it grows. It's definitely a grower, not a shower, if you know what I mean. And here's the album cover. It has like a nice industrial complex here with Tobias in the middle. His Cardinal Copia with the, you know, the more industrial side here and the more skeletal side there, which is pretty rad. And then we have the back that gives off a industrial city of, you know, Cardinal Copia's landscape. And it has a nice font to each of the song names. And there's the landscape, like I said, pretty cool looking. And let's talk about the rest that comes in with this vinyl, as well as the package of all of it. Cause there's lots of goodies that come with this album. You'll be in for a treat. But here's the vinyl. It looks pretty cool looking. It's got a nice purple to it, a nice purple twist. It's really beautiful looking. Most of my albums are just black, but it, this is definitely some fresh air and you have the typical ghost font as well logo as well as the other songs too that's side a and what else comes with it is some stickers of every cardinal copia in the lore for the last 12 or so years of ghosts because they've only existed for a decade or so which makes them one of the fastest growing new metal slash hard rock acts in the last 10 or 20 years which is pretty cool and here's every sticker. You can put it wherever. I'm not sure where I'm going to put the stickers, but I might keep them just, you know, as a devoted fan, if you will. Because I love every version of them. I love the Prequel version of them. I love every version of them, especially the first album, too. Now, let's talk about the art that comes with it. Not only does it come with stickers, it also comes with its own art, too. And I'm kind of just going to gloss over this, skim through this part, but I'm just going to show you some of the art. There it is, the... Uh, daytime of his city there's a nice sunscape to it kind of reminds me of bioshock infinite with the whole dystopian city and all the religion religious imagery looks pretty cool yeah and he every song name or song in general has its own art too which is pretty cool as you can see this is probably my favorite one out of the bunch i could always get a whole painting of this i'd love that get a spillways painting as well as this too. This might piss off more Karens too since there's Satan there with his devil horns, but still looks cool. And my favorite thing about this is Hunter's Moon because this is actually a song feature on a soundtrack for a Halloween with Michael Myers. Really good song. That song especially grew on me. I originally did not like it, but it grew on me. And now let's discuss my favorite song here. They literally have the telescope for Watcher in the Sky. It's really cool imagery. I don't know what all the lyrical content means, but it really just talks about 2020 and then what's ahead, especially with the song 20s right there. That's probably my favorite song. And if you look deep into this, this kind of looks like Donald Trump with his tyrannical imagery. Now, I don't know if that's Donald Trump, but look at his hair. I mean, that kind of gives it away, you know, since he's kind of a tyrant. Just joking. Let's not get political here. Sorry for digressing, but here's uh, more pictures, you know. But let's skip to what's cool about this album. Is it shows literal art with Tobias Forge slash Carnocopia with his goons, with his industrial metalhead goons. And then what surprised me is the amount of members are actually in Ghosts. It's almost similar to, to Slipknot, except almost none of them, none of their identities are known. I know Dave Grohl actually played as the drummer for this satanic band a while ago. Dave Grohl is actually a huge metalhead. He re recently reviewed, or not reviewed, but made a new album that's metal as hell. As well as he's been in other metal acts too, which is pretty cool. He's had very different metal projects, but I digress again. Especially this one too, but yeah, if you like it, if you like Ghost, let me know by subscribing and commenting. Yeah, look at that. Look at that album looks sick and yeah i definitely love the purple and yeah i think that about wraps it up for this video i know this was pretty short only five or six minutes long but yeah i just wanted to make this because i got this today and if you want me to review the other albums i got today 
uh, Health's new project, Disco 4 Part 1 and 2. Actually, got yeah, Part 1 and 2 since the guy who was working there kind of persuaded me. I, I was only going to get the second part, but he persuaded me since I actually really love the first part. Uh, here's a hot take, but I think I love the second part more than the first, but... That's only because 100 Gex is on the first, you know, album. I'm not a big fan of the whole glitchy, glitchy sound, if you know what I mean. Like, the auto-tune. But, yeah. No, I need to stop digressing. This is here for only Ghost and Ghost only. But, yeah. I hope you had a fantastic day. And I hope you guys are tuning in to Ghost. These guys are a very underrated band. Even though they're blowing up on TikTok because of the song... I think it's both songs, Kiss the Go and Mary on the Cross, which is ironic. But yeah, definitely give these guys more support. They're a great band and I love their imagery. But yeah, enough, enough ranting. Hope you guys have a great, fantastic day, Friday.